go to 13 and 14. Second Samuel chapter 7, 13. Second Samuel 7, 13 and 14. All right, this is what the Bible says. Mm. 13. From 12. Oh, it's chapter 12. Is that what you gave me? It's chapter 12. Okay. 13 and 14. Okay. All right. Let's work with that. Now, 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 13. So David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Every child of God has three enemies to deal with post salvation. When you are born again, you have three, even after salvation. Even in the world, the story is not different. But just that you have a different mechanism for dealing with the problem. But when you become born again, you have three enemies. The flesh, the world, and the devil. The flesh, your body. When you get born again, your body doesn't change. Your eyes are the same. Your nose is still coming out. Your forehead is still protruding. It's the same. So your flesh, the world, that's the system around you. And then the devil. But you see, the devil presides over the two against you. The devil uses both your flesh and the world to fight you. And so it's in these areas that sin is traceable. And so here, David did something he shouldn't do. How many of you know we all make mistakes? Oh no, warm up to me. How many of you know we all make mistakes? Okay, David made a mistake. But today we are not running David out of town. We are looking at a certain scenario that was created. Go to Second Samuel chapter 12. He says in verse 13, So David said to Nathan, I've sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said to David, The Lord has also put away your sin. You shall not die. However, because of this deed, you have given great occasion. Underline that. For those who came with Bibles. You have given great occasion to the enemies of the Lord. Which means God has... God has enemies. You've given great occasion to the enemies of the Lord to blaspheme. And the punishment was, the child also that is born unto thee shall surely die. Next verse. And Nathan departed. Now, give me a wave out there. Great. The central scripture I'm looking for and we are dealing with is anything for you to enter new year, anything you have done in your life, by your mouth, by your behavior, by your attitude, by your actions, that giving an occasion to the enemy to cause you to lose advantage, you are going to recover it before you enter the new year. You didn't get me. Now, we are also going to enlarge it by extension. Any occasion, whether by deed or misdeed, whether by sin of omission, what you did, sin of commission, what you did, sin of omission, what you didn't do. Omission is what you didn't do. Commission is what you did. Even for us as a church, from leadership to all of us, any sin of omission, what we shouldn't do, we did. Sin of commission, what we did, we shouldn't have done. Today we are praying that anything we have done that has given the enemy occasion, to attack us, to blackmail us, to blacklist us, to harass us. We want to recover our ground. Stand up with me. I'm going to take you first through a confession. Lift up your hands. Oh, if you are sitting down, I'll just presume uh, you are perfect. You are perfect. I'm not talking about perfection in the sense that You've reached a level of holiness like Enoch who was not and was taken. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Perfection is in the sense that you never do anything wrong, which I think would be risky business. Because even just before you came, somebody greeted you, you didn't respond. That is a sin. Somebody just greeted you and you were looking at their shoes. 
you just outside there. So that already is in your account. That's a sin you committed in the church. Oh, apart from the one outside. Lift up your hand. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Say today. Yes. Now let's get it right. Say today. Yes. I come to you. As a child of God. With my name. In the book of life. I acknowledge. Every sin. Of omission. Every sin. Of commission. And transgression. Of your law. This day. Before heaven. Before the earth. Identification. With my family. And my church. According to Ezekiel. Chapter 22. I stand in the gap. And I make a hedge. On behalf of my nation. On behalf of my church. On my own behalf. God of heaven, thou who forgive sins, this day I plead for mercy by the tokens of the blood of Jesus. I ask for forgiveness that this day you will look with mercy by the work of the cross upon my omissions and commissions. Wipe them off by the blood of Jesus. By my prayer, I stand forgiven. I stand redeemed. I stand redeemed in the name of Jesus. Now by my prayer, for myself, for my family, for my church, from the archbishop to the lowest person, I declare that this day, because we are forgiven of our omissions and commissions, any ground that we lost by the sin of omission and sin of commission as we pray we recover the ground financial ground marital ground relationship grounds social grounds economic grounds environmental grounds political grounds that we lost as a person that we lost as a people by my prayer Satan, you liar. I recover every lost ground. Goliath shall come down in the name of Jesus. After 40 days, I declare I have found an answer. I recover every ground by my prayer in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a hand. Lift up your hand one more time. So, because sin is forgiven by faith, it is not something you pray about. You confess it and you stand forgiven. Now, the other issue is, it doesn't automatically address the issue of what you have lost. So then, even though you are forgiven, anything Satan has taken, by virtue of what you have confessed, he must give you back. He must give you back. Friends, you have lost. Political advantage we've lost. Social advantage we've lost. Satan has no right to take it again. Because I've settled my matter with God. Satan, I've settled my matter with God. Lift up your hand. Say this day, hear me, O God. Show me favor. Return to me every lost ground for my relationship, for the church, for the archbishop, for Action Chapel, for my business. For my family, right now, I recover, I pursue, I overtake, I recover all. Now, today, I demand an answer to every question. Clap your hand and begin to pray, recover. Clap your hand and move and pray. Hey, hey, hey. Even if you don't hear my voice, keep on praying. Zagadabakataya. Shandalabahaya. Hey. Ragadababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
every ground you have lost, recover it before 2012. Move and pray, move and pray. Tomorrow may be too late. Do it now. Did I hear you pray? Can I hear you clap your hands? Do it for yourself. Do it for the church. Do it for your future. God works with time. Tomorrow will be too late. Do it now. I hear Azamie. Go ahead. Push, push. Let me hear you pray. Roar like a lion. We hey! clap your hands and pray. Get mad at the devil. Declare war on the devil's war. Settle it now. Before 2012, no arrears, no arrears. of you don't seem to catch the full import. Uh, when, when you come to prayer meetings like this, there's the temptation to think you are doing Archbishop a favor. That's the way you think. Go to Re Revelation chapter 8. Let me give you a rude shock and bring you out of your stupor. Revelation chapter 8. Because I'm not amused at all at the way some of you are praying as if you are hanging out with your boyfriend somewhere. Revelation chapter 8. Revelation chapter 8. From verse 3 to 5. 3 to 5. And another came and stood. No, nobody sits down. Please stand up. God forbid. I catch you sitting. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden answer. And there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayer of all the saints. Now, prayer works by the law of sowing and reaping. If you don't sow prayer, you will not reap results. This prayer should change your mind forever. So if you think there's a geography to prayer, if you don't pray and sow a seed, God will have nothing to work with. You are born again, you will go to heaven. As for within the angel of book, but you will die broke. You have problems, you have crisis. Because God is not going to do your dirty work for you. God doesn't need a husband. God doesn't need a wife. God won't go to Legon. God is not fighting witchcraft. It's your problem. So if you can handle it, then 
wala o wala. But if you call on God, God would appear. So here it says, so he should offer the prayer of the saints upon the golden altar. Where are the saints? On earth. So when you shoot your prayer up, then it mixes with the incense. I'm open, when we open fire, I don't want anybody to stand. Go to the next verse, quickly. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayer of the saints, ascended before God out of the angel's hand. And what happened? Verse 5. And the angel took the prayer and the incense and filled it with fire. Lift your hand and say fire. fire. Say let my enemies receive fire. Oh come on, bomb them. Say let them receive fire. And he said fill with the fire of the altar and cast it from heaven to the earth where your enemies are. The witches, the wizards, the marabu, the babalawo, all those who hate you, they are here. So God will send it to the earth and there were voices thunderings lightnings and earthquake lift up your hand put your bible down lift it up lift it up now you've seen it whoever has taken your advantage because of the occasion you are certain with god let them receive thunder i said let them receive thunder let them receive lightnings let them receive earthquake let God shake them. Proper, 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 proper. Let God shake them. Lift up your hand. Now move out of your seat. The away enemy who so cry, leave it, leave out of your seat. I didn't come here to see your stiletto shoe. I have one at home. Now Jerry Kell in Tinambaha. I want to I want you to pray. Lift up your hand. It's not Christmas today. We are at war. Lift up. Say today. So now any occasion that the enemy has given over the church, over your life, you are recovering it. And now you know the key. Thunders, lightnings, and earthquake. Your prayer will go up and God will bring it down. So today, by my prayer, any ground I have lost by occasion of any sin, of remission and commission, I've settled my matter with God. So, therefore, the enemy has no charge against me. My prayer has gone to heaven into the veil. I declare as I pray thunders, lightnings, earthquakes, and fire shall strike my enemies anywhere in the world right now right now now release your fire release it thunders lightnings earthquakes oja 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 release the fire and the thunders and the lightnings and the earthquakes no mercy no mercy no mercy no mercy release the fire release the thunders release the earthquake no mercy no mercy on your enemies 2012 no mercy Yay! fire 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 thunder lightning earthquakes thunder lightning earthquakes fire 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 from heaven Hey, 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 hey. Tomorrow will be too late. Do it now. The righteous shall triumph. The righteous shall prevail. Adika bo kade. Ashiri Hey. Clap your hands and pray. Five minutes more. Five minutes more. Finish hard. Finish hard.
We are praying. We are praying. We are praying. More prayer, less talk. Let's talk more prayer. Let's talk more prayer. Let's talk more prayer. A prayer meeting is a prayer meeting. It's not a talking meeting. So pray. I can see the fire. I can hear the lightning. I can hear the thunder. Hey, hey, hey. Let them receive it. I can see the lightning. I can hear the thunder. I can hear the earthquake. I can see the fire. A child, fire, fire, fire. Any occasion, any occasion, any occasion, condemn it. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Clap your hands and pray. Stamp your feet and pray. Yeah. We are. We are. Aye. Adirie. Azarie. Adirie. Azarie. Adirie. Azarie. Apaye. Azandara lababai. Voices, voices, fire, voices, thunderings, lightnings, earthquake. Reach them out. Two minutes more. Finish hard. Satan is a liar. Satan is a liar. Return it. Restore your lost ground. We are praying. We are praying. We are praying. One minute more. I can hear the voice of God. Thunders, lightnings, earthquake, hey, a piasa, a piasa, a piasa. One minute more, half a minute, half a minute. What I do, what I do. Twenty twelve, the year of one death, the year of one death for you. Divine providence, one death, one death.
doing? What are you doing? Shake it off. Shake it off. Take the battle to the gate. Asandara babari andaya, 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 ilara babara babaya. Asari antai andiri ya Asandara babari andaya Asandara babari andaya Ilara babara babaya Asandara babari andaya Asandara babari andaya Asandara babari andaya Give the Lord a hand for any reason All right Lift up your hands. Listen to me two minutes. On the shoulders of that same prayer point, I want us to generate, put your hand down. I need about a minute to sort this out. On the wings of that same prayer point, I want us to generate, by extension, another prayer point. Could you put on the wall for me, First Samuel chapter, the same prayer point. First Samuel chapter 17. First Samuel chapter 17, and I still mean it, nobody sits. First Samuel chapter 17, go to, go to verse 30, 52. 52. 52. And the men of Israel and Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines. Now look at me. Sometimes we can ask you to pray without giving you the benefit of understanding. And so you pray for all the wrong reasons. You are running, but you are not going anywhere. So it's important to pray with understanding. Now, in life, there's always a perennial battle between light and darkness. From day one, nah, the day you are born, there's fight between light and darkness. Can I hear amen? amen? And you are in war, you are either losing ground or you are gaining ground. In this case, the Israelites were on one side. And the Philistines were on one side. And that typifies how life is. Something goes wrong. Either through some sin or some wrong decision. Or something happens. Death is the finality of it. When you lose ground totally. But once you are alive, you are still losing ground. If you don't play your cards well. Here, the Philistine Goliath said. If I defeat you, you will be our servants. If you defeat us. You would, we would also be your servants. That is the proposition, the treaty for war. And it was the enemy that wrote it. That because the enemy was sure they would defeat the Israelites. So they came to the war with a treaty, a game plan. If we defeat you, you will be slaves to us. So anytime the enemy defeats you, you, you are enslaved in some way in your life, either financial slavery physical slavery or something. But if you defeat us, we would also surround to you, surrender to you. Now, the Bible tells us that the Jews, the Philistines, the, the Israelites were sitting down. But a day came, they rose up. I declare you are rising up. I say you are rising up. Now, conclusion as we pray. The Bible tells us that David took the challenge and then he defeated a certain enemy that had an occasion to destroy them for a long time. And then finally, verse 54. Let's wrap it up. 54. This is where your prayer comes. And David took the head of the Philistine. Lift it up. Take the head. Take it. No, you have not defeated anything. I said take the head of Goliath. 
take it. No. No, leave, leave it. Put it down. Take the head of Goliath. Now, he said, he took the head of Goliath and brought it to Jerusalem. He didn't take it. He brought it home. Whatever you defeat, it must follow you to your house. That thing that has been harassing you for an occasion to destroy you, take your marriage, take your business, take your career, take your future. Today, you cut it off. You take it. And I am taking it to Jerusalem. 2012, I declare you will take your marriage. When I say to say, no, you will take your marriage. You will take your business. You will take your career. You take your family. You take your ministry. Oh, take it up. Lift it. Goliath's head. Kadabakataya. Now, you are going to pray that now that you have confessed it, in no occasion that you have destroyed, now you are recovering your ground. Archbishop gave us the point, occasion. Now we dealt with the occasion. Now that the occasion has been dealt with, this shouting beast, Goliath, you have taken his head. Now you are taking it as a trophy. What the Kwachrem will be That now I've married. Now I bought a car. Oh, come on. We are. <laughs> ah! Oh, Bishop, Bishop, Bishop. Hey, go lie at head. Come and see, come and see, come and see. 2012, I am carrying my marriage. I am carrying my business. I am carrying my career. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Goliath, you have been shouting and shouting and shouting. And then, lift up your hand. Lift it up. Now, you are going to pray that you are now going to enforce it. That this thing will happen. You will take the head and show it. Your marriage, your family, your business. The political ground we have lost in this church. We will carry it for everybody to see. Ah, if you are carrying your husband, who will not see? They be out by church, you alone, up and down. Then one day, this man with the goatee is standing by you. Then we ask him, wait, why? Oh, Bishop. <laughs> Bishop, you know now. Uh, it's my, is it your brother? Oh, Bishop, you're asking too many questions. Uh, it's my something. Something. It's my something. It's my something. No, no, Kony. My something. Lift up your hand. Goliath's head. We are taking it to Jerusalem. Lift up your hand. Lift it up. We will not return empty. We went to battle. We shall not return empty. David went without Goliath's head and he came back with Goliath's head. Bishop Ben, you will not return empty. He went with food for his brothers and he brought Goliath's head home. Where? Where? Lift up your hand. Lift it up. Where? I will pour, I can bless. Lift up your hand. You are coming. Every occasion has been destroyed. Now recover your ground. Because today, I declare in the name of Jesus, any occasion I have lost after 40 days by Goliath, I put it down. I release my sword by prayer. I destroy. I take back the ground in the name of Jesus and right now I destroy the enemy I receive my marriage our advantage as a church for the Archbishop Action Chapel my company my life my family my children Goliath 
I came empty. I am going back with your head as a triumph, as a trophy. Clap your hand and begin to pray. Show it. Show the head, show the head. Clap your hands and pray. We are 2012. You must not return the way you went. Come back with something. Come back, come back. Come back with something. No, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Yeah, la, 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 I have about five, ten minutes to put my butts on the seat. Get a group of three. Quick, 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 quick. Nobody disobeys the bishop. Three, three. It's risky to even think about it. That I said something and you didn't do it. What a risk. What a risk. Towards the end of the year, how can you afford to have a risk like that? Bishop said something, you didn't do it. Hey. Get three, three. Now, appoint me a leader. Who is the leader? Organize a leader. Who is the leader? Who? You. Self appointed. All right. The leader, give me a wave. Now you are going to make sure your group claps. Make sure your group come back with Goliath's head. Clap your hand and begin to pray. Clap your hand and begin to pray. Recover it. Higher, higher, higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Adiria, Azandiria. Any occasion, destroy the occasion. Recover your ground. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Goliath, you are a liar. Take the head home. Take the head home. Take his head home. Take your marriage home. Take your business home. Take your children home. Fuck off here, fuck off here, fuck off here. Kayashia, Kayashia, take it. Kayashia, take the head home. Now lift it up. Bend down. Some of you have waist problems. Bend down. Take it. Now, I declare you are holding your marriage. Look at lift it up. When you began the year, you went to the battle with food for your brother. Now, this Goliath is your trouble. You have his head. That's your business. Say, I have my marriage. I have my business. I have my career. 2012, I will return with my blessing, with my glory, with my honor, with my wedding, with my breakthrough, with my glory, with my enlargement, with the blessings of the Archbishop and the church. In the name of Jesus, shout it! I told Pastor Boda, I'm led by the Spirit of God to take one prayer. Five minutes. It will do no harm. Because it may save somebody's life. Put it on the wall. 2 Kings 4.40 Even if it will save the life of one person, it is worth it. So he poured out for the men to eat. And it came to pass. As they were eating the pottage. This is for 2012. They cried, Oh, man of God, there is death in the pot. Hmm. Put your Bible down. Jesus, put your Bible down. 2012. In the pot containing death, you will not eat it. Hear me well. 
I can hear from God. 30 years on the road. Nobody will tell me. I know it. This scripture will save your life. Don't forget. They ate it and said, there's death in the porch. But they didn't know it. And they cried to the man of God. 2012, from now to the same man next year. No porch anywhere containing death. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Two minutes. And then we get on. Say today. Now be very bold. Shemeni, many abre. Say today. Any pot. Hear me well. Any pot. In my father's house. In my mother's house. Containing death. I crush it. In the pot. In the pot. Lift up your hand. Kukwobia or woom. In the pot containing death in 2012, you are breaking it right now. Say today, in the pot in my office, in the church, in my family, in my own town, containing death that can take my life in 2012, I crush it, I break it right now. I will not die. Clap your hands and pray. Break it. Break the pot. Break the pot. Otherwise, you eat death. She will not eat death. She will not eat death. Dr. Nyaku, you will not eat death. You and your family. You will not eat death. You will not eat death. Break the pot. Professor Gideon, you will not eat death. Break the pot. 2012. You will not eat death. Boku Kuano, you will not eat death. Nobody will poison you. You will not eat death. Believe me as a man of God. Nobody will trap you. No woman will trap you. No woman will take you down and bring you shame. No woman. Any trap. 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 2012 set by any woman to publicize you and destroy your name today we break the pot any woman any woman any girl who will invite you anywhere and set you up for bad publicity to destroy your ministry as a servant of god by revelation we crush it we crush it we crush it we break the pot we break the pot. No scandal on your ministry. No scandal on your marriage. No scandal on your life. We break the pot. One minute more. Break the pot. Lift up your hand. 2012 shall be one of the greatest years in your life. 2012 your enemies will open their mouth. 2012 you will never lack. 2012 wherever you go you will come back. Give the Lord a hand 